finally, finally, finally! Though so of course, we're back with another Duck Mile video. So of course, so we did get some pretty good news right here. My camera's really, really low, right there. Uh, we got some pretty good news right here. Not news, actually, some pretty... Uh, I was in the wrong mindset. I was thinking about Sonic video, I gotta do next. Cause this I will record a Sonic video. I was in that mood, I was like, oh wait! Uh, for Doken right here, we got kind of a sad thing slash, you know, kind of thing that was supposed to be coming anyway. Um, which was already pretty much teased already about safety net emulators. The point was shutting that down. Doken has finally, I think, capped on it like that. They finally are shutting it down and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, sadly, yeah, like jailbreak phones, like root phones and stuff like that, basically, you can try to get Doken from, like, another device or whatever. Not another device, but, like, jailbroken or, like, rooted. Because back in the day, like, for me, though, growing up, you know, a lot of people would jailbroke, root it, like, all that stuff for, like, you know, phones and stuff like that back in the day. But now you can get them for at least, like, a full price or whatever, like, more kind of like, you know, what you just show away instead of like, getting a jailbroken phone from like your friend or doing whatever, because, you know, I mean, they are pretty much stuff like hacking. It's kind of like something hacking, like in the World Tournament, or just in general, because, you know, World Tournament, where you go down in the rank or up in the rank, um, people, Ben died, like, every 15 minutes is getting rid of those hackers. I think, believe, because I don't know your World Tournament, um, you know, rank always resets, but at the same time, um, I'm trying to think of it, it resets, but also at the same time, um, they are getting rid of hackers at the same time, so of course it's going back and forth and stuff like that. I look glossy, I look hot, I look sweaty, I am, like, you know, hot where I am, though, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, though, um, I was just like, wow, I'm shocked. Like, I woke up yesterday, this is about a day after, though, um, I, might, I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video, I might upload, like, a couple hours later, or whatever, because, again, I've been recording so much lately, I've been doing so many videos, I finally got to take a break this week. Last week, I recorded a lot, because Legends Anniversary, I'm um, getting some stuff done over there, um, some dope, a lot of dope stuff, like, Pentagon Battle, Global Update, I was like, wow, they love dropping stuff at the same time. So I was mainly busy last week doing all of that, though. So, yeah. A little bit tired, though, last week. But now this week, I've calmed down because I took a break. I might do, like, the Gotenks and Go Go uh, Goten and Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks video for um, the Dope Effects event, the VPN EZA. i trying to think what else I need. Oh, actually, I actually might do that in a couple more weeks. Um, I might do it today. Um, i trying to think of it. Um... Some more, a couple more stuff. I already did the easy video for Guts and Trunks. Guts and Trunks. Guts and Trunks is like 18 already on JP, so I don't really need it for global, but whatever. So yeah. Um, so it's finally cutting down Doken and stuff like that. I mean, it's only mainly Doken because the other games like Fate and like, um, I don't know, like, you know, uh, My Hero, of course, Genshin, uh, get, uh, not Genshin, not really, but I know like My Hero because, you know, they have the JP kind of like thing and stuff like that, JP servers. They have that around. Again, little stuff like that, of course. Um, of course, we got Carrie um, over here. Got some more um, little kind of insights and stuff like that, of course, like for the whole thing. Basically, right here it says, yeah, devices with root slash jailbreak and a modified version of Doken or hardware or whatever because Doken, you know, hardware and stuff like that. They do care about all that stuff. Type of thing. Um, let me see. I'm gonna slip myself off. Um, they do actually care. I see my hair so good. It's crazy, right? Um, they do care about like all that type of thing though. So of course, um, any like thing like that, of course, modified. Like I said, like emulators. I know a lot of people are thinking DBZ space can be affected as well, and DBZ space like you know, um, legends as well. Those can possibly be affected. Um. But even then, that's the case. I can just go to my phone and stuff like that. Of course, I like, go over it and stuff like that. I don't think Doken Wiki is going to be affected by this either. A lot of people are saying that too. Like, oh yeah, rip the Doken Wiki guts. Like, I don't think that's it's not that's something else completely different. It's not the same thing. It's not going to the game's data and figuring out this and that. Um, it's not as similar as it is, but it's really not. That's something completely different. That's just like everybody. Everybody makes a wiki. Reddit might not be different as well. It's different Reddit's different as well. I know a lot of people are complaining and going crazy. You know, just the end of Doken or whatever. But I think I've been saying that for like at least like what what five years almost. This game's been out six now. So um, including this year, that might be seven next year. Ooh, oh boy, time's recording. So yeah. Um, Again, a lot of people are going to go crazy, thinking the world's going to end, Doken's going to end, though, so, um, yeah. Again, um, like I said, so here, devices, rooted, you know, modified in APKs and stuff like that. Um, basically, yeah, that means you cannot enter the game anymore, like, you try to do, like, a customized thing for your character or whatever, or, I don't know, try to get, like, card aim at Carter for, like, a lot of the characters. Yeah, that's kind of messing with that as well. Um, I mean, that's, I mean, not, like, fully, though, but typical, typical little stuff like that, though. So, of course, um, again, like I said, emulators, um, again, like, that stuff is really being impacted. Or to impact the new My Hero game that just kind of came out on JP servers that may be affected as well. 
in the Q app, it's a completely different thing, but it may be honestly somehow still be connected though. So I can kind of agree with that as well though. So yeah, honestly, I can agree with that though a little bit though. So yeah, Hydro's mainly kind of goes over a lot of this stuff because he's really pretty big on all this thing, all this stuff though. So yeah, shout out to him though. I know he's on 5'9", so yeah. Again, a lot of people are scared about it, stuff like that. I mean, I am kind of too, because when I can get like early showcases, I am going to sadly miss that because I like to kind of see the unit a little bit like a preview before the game. It's like when I get into the game, I get excited. But back in the day, like it, like Doken did, you know, we had to wait for the announcements. We got to wait for this and that. Which, honestly, I don't mind. I don't care. I can honestly wait like for the announcements of Doken Fest and stuff like that. People doing news videos, you know, early and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to miss those type of days. But sometimes... I'm kind of glad because I wanted to make extra videos, make sure this one gets on time or whatever. And I'm gonna be kind of, I am really gonna be glad about that though sometimes. Sometimes it's like, you know, less content, sometimes the better, but it just really does because every other game's pretty much fine at this point though, but yeah. Um, I think I just also says right here, yeah, basically, yeah, mods in case will be killed off due to safety net and stuff like that. Safety net being a big thing, blocking off all type of thing. Again, um, even Renzi from DBZ.Space mentioned that it's kind of being monkey right now, though, but it doesn't make sense because that is going to the game's data and freaking all stuff early, though. So hopefully it doesn't go down, but if it does, I will make a sentimental, you know, tweet out and like everything on Instagram and Twitter. I'm like, oh, so sad because that, that's been that's that hits my heart really hard if DBZ.Space goes down, even for Legends, though. So I got to go in the game and start kind of doing that. Some Sometimes or like sometimes like some videos might get pushed back here and there, but yeah. Yeah, bots, private servers for like early showcases, bots, you know, farming bots, people who farm out in the game. People are like, oh yeah, farming bots back, we're gonna farm out in the game. It's like don't do that, like that's stupid. Um even Hydro's mentioned that one time. He's like, Okay guys, please stop doing this because like just because it's back online doesn't mean you have to use it. I know Legend has like like bots, you know, of course in the game farming crystals, but that's like in game. You got to actually purchase it for a certain amount of day or whatever. So that's how it's structured on Legends. Like again, guys, you gotta like that's already built in into Legends. Like that, you can actually have to pay for that. And you go to Doki and do that, like farm out stones. But we have the stone, stone subscription service. That's pretty much what it is. And then I remember that stone duping was it what 2017, 2018? I remember. I think my um, phone was out that day, I think. I think it was last year. Um, a lot of people were duping stones inside their box. Like, you can go inside your box, duplicate whatever you want to. People were duping stones for, like, 999 stones. I remember when that came up, I was like, wait, what the heck is this? I know Tiger of Good Media he tweeted out. I think Truth made, tweeted out, maybe. I don't know. It's been a really long time since I went over that. Um, but, yeah, basically, yeah, emulation, all that stuff is pretty much going down and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, sadly, private service, yeah, like, Doken content will be having a hard reboot. He mentioned that as well, like, yeah, early showcases. That's going to be really sad. I do like, actually like early showcases. Just can't see up the unit. Maybe that's mainly truth thing because he mainly does that a lot himself. I can agree with that, but yeah. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna be sad about that, including myself. I'm gonna um excuse me, sadly miss that though. Early showcases and private server stuff. I actually do like that, like going in the game and kind of messing with it. Like kinda like custom things. I wish Joking could do that, like you know, learn from this kind of and be like, okay, maybe you want some different colors, maybe you want some different music in the background, kind of more of a customization. I mean we have the wallpaper, but you know, maybe the game like what color you want or whatever. That would honestly would be kind of cool. You know, that private service and stuff like that, the um, message, um another one right here for like emulators and stuff like that. I'm just pointing out like, you know, it basically is, you know, all kind of going down with itself so yeah again safety net like all that stuff is going to prevent like um yeah like i said emulators all the stuff you know so basically if you have an account like on an emulator on a computer but a lot of people do plug up to the computer emulate it and stuff like that you know mirror it from like their phone or whatever i just record from my screen and just i do all my stuff on my phone though so it's mad easy for me um but other people do have di like different lean tough though so i kind of get that for me I, I started on my phone though so it doesn't really for me again everybody's situation is different a lot of people do record on the computer more than like me right now i'm actually recording on my computer instead of like you know, um, you know, just actually recording on it and stuff like that. So, uh, not my phone. Because I used to record on my phone a lot back in the day. I kind of got sick of it, though. So, it kind of happens. Uh, right here, I think, is another point right here. Yeah, basically, everything lower. Uh, iOS and Android, basically, um, everything 7 or lower, basically, the emulators will not be working because of, you know, iOS, um, Android, you know, 10, 11, etc. So, basically, phone stuff right here for, like, older phones and stuff like that. If you have, like, an iPhone, like, yeah, like, um, 12 Pro Max or whatever, you should be fine. I think it's talking about, like, um, updates and stuff like that. Um, or phones specifically. It didn't say phones, it was said phones, but basically, device and stuff like that. Lady Doka says, oh yeah, um, iPhone's not good, you know, iOS, because I usually get those notifications like, oh yeah, Android 8 or whatever type of support, don't get any more Android 9. You get those about every couple of weeks, though. That's what I kind of see it as. You get it every couple of weeks or every time before an update. Um, I think one was right here, but yeah, basically the community going crazy and stuff like that. I'm just that. In my opinion, though, I don't think it's that bad. But at the same time, it's also like I know a lot of people are gonna be mad and crazy about it though. But um, sadly though, this has been a really long time coming though. Um, pretty much kind of with the video though. But uh, yeah, like I said, I know a lot of people are gonna be sad. I know a lot of people are gonna be mad about it. I can kind of agree as well. Um, I will be 
Sadly sad about this, you know, data mine and stuff like that pretty much gone. I said, no, Hydros is out of a job. You're fired from 5-9. You're fired. I'm kidding. Um, I know a lot of people are like, um, I like Kawhi. I seriously team Doke on her. I mean, they don't really do that anymore. They used to, but they kind of stopped. They don't know Kawhi has like a YouTube channel. Um, I think I seriously does his own thing and Team Dark Hunter does like a gotcha website. But I don't think that's priority ties towards that, so I think he can keep it. I remember last year on this time when the Kyle Kimbu Goku and Evol L or Evolution Blue Vegeta leaks when Tanabati came out last year. I remember he was on that like like rapid firing like right there. So um yeah. Again I might be gone sadly though too, but again only future could tell. I am sad about this personally my feelings. I am sad about though, but you know, early showcases. But it does give us high, more hyper moments like we actually can wait for this stuff. Like we actually wait for it like we did back in the day. I know a lot of days time is different and stuff like that. People have changed. You know, people can't be impatient, wait. But sadly, we're gonna probably have to start doing that again, referring back to those times once more. But I'm happy. I mean, I'm okay about it though. Of course, I am gonna be. I'm a little bit sad, a little bit empty. I don't know what to really feel about it. I'm still kind of processing it, in my opinion. But hopefully, in the future, you know, well, maybe it'll come back. Or you know, like slightly, you know, like like weeks for data miners, like you know, how like Dominic does and stuff like that. People like data mine and find stuff for that. Not as much lately. Like, you know, Nintendo. If you get on Nintendo, they're like, sorry, man, no Pokemon ROM hacks, no hacking. Because Nintendo is kind of light on leaks, like Pokemon and stuff like that. Maybe like one leak every couple like two or three months but they're like near the end of the year like, okay we're gonna spread out everything game former all that stuff so yeah see you guys later though thanks for watching have a great day great life i'll you again though make sure you always stay safe watch your hands god bless all of you every going out when you wear a mask and toilet paper every ruler 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 so what do you guys think about all this stuff? Of course, the mod AVKs, all this going down. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I think it's really sad right now. But again, we've got to revert, revert back to the old times where Doki you know, didn't have like all this. Because we know there's a time when Doki never had all of this, though. But again, the game is so popular, so big. I kind of get it why. But again, like something like World Tournament Hackers is a big risk because anybody can hack the game. People hack. Basically, back in the day, JP, those accounts were really easy to hack. That's why they got rid of like the Facebook connecting thing. That's why we have much higher security. Like this is why Doki does all this. So make sure the game is secure and stuff like that, of course. Again, I know a lot of people are gonna be mad and sad about that. I'm gonna talk about this in like other videos though, but I know a lot of people are gonna be sad and mad about it. I am sad too, but again, you don't want to receive people hacking or doing whatever with the game because they can take their money. They had none of them before though. People are getting like hacked the game, take it for themselves, you know. People have hacked accounts that took them their stones and you know, summoning, taking people other people's stones, summoning and stuff like that. They want to prevent that more and more and more. I have all my stuff connected, so whatever happens, even if you delete that Doki app, you can come right back in, but still just in case if you have anything else connected, like Facebook or whatever. I kept it all mine. I have Apple phone, so yeah. See you guys later though again, no? Peace out.